My relationship with the Boys and Girls Club started about three years ago. I had a class that I brought some students out to, to teach um, computer music, sound synthesis. Uh, uh, we did a one-day workshop three years ago and uh, I was left thinking that we could do more. So I, I hatched this idea last year to actually use uh, the fact that our spring breaks between the county and uh, Stetson don't sync up. So what we're here, we're here during the Volusia County spring break when the Boys and Girls Club goes from being an after-school program to being a full-day program. And we can have my students come out when they have uh, time uh, in between classes or before classes start. Uh, and they've been working uh, this semester on actually designing a game that we we're teaching the kids how to build. Um, so we're using a programming language called Processing. Uh, my students have designed a bunch of graphics uh, assets to actually put into the game and uh, we're walking the, the kids at the Boys and Girls Club uh, through how to program those games and build them up themselves and customize them uh, to their liking with uh, different graphics. Um, everything from cats to meteors that are falling and they have to kind of catch those, those objects uh, at the bottom of the screen. My students are all digital art students so they, they were happy to kind of build some of these assets for the game while I'm working on teaching more of the coding aspect of it. Uh, and then in addition to that, uh, the learning uh, from my students is that they, they work on documenting the process as well. So they're here doing video, doing sound recording. Uh, they have to build a website to actually document the process of doing this workshop at the Boys and Girls Club. So. Uh, it's a win-win. It's we get to teach the kids uh, here at the Boys and Girls Club about programming, about actually making stuff with technology rather than just consuming with technology. Uh, and my students get a project where they can kind of plug in and, and apply a lot of these skills that they're learning in digital arts, everything from web design to video production to audio production uh, to document the whole process.